Welcome back to the channel. Last month, I was lucky enough to do three dives at Rapid Bay Jetty with a local underwater photographer called Chelsea. She was an absolute legend. She organized everything and she did something that not many photographers would do. She let me use her camera for all the dives. That means that it was the first time I was actually diving with a real underwater photography rig, the flashes and everything, and had an absolute, absolute ball. So she picked me up in the morning with all the gear ready to go and we drove down to this house and uh, the rest of this video will be about showing you what we saw and what I photographed or what I managed to photograph. So let's jump right in. So as I said, she picked me up in the morning, the car was packed with tanks and gear and we made our way along the scenic route down south to Rapid Bay. Then we quickly started getting ready. She gave me a quick tutorial on what the buttons do on her housing and strobes and everything because I'd never used that before. And uh, off we went. So you have to get ready in the car and walk with all the equipment along the jetty. You can't get quite hot, even in South Australia. And this is me looking very unglamorous, ready for cold water diving. The viz wasn't the greatest, but that didn't stop us, and we went down and started looking for wildlife. One of the first real cool critter we saw was this giant cuttlefish. I'd never seen giant cuttlefish before, and I was really excited. It's the biggest cuttlefish in the world, and uh, this. This guy was really, really inquisitive and uh, allowed me to take a fair few photos. We filmed him a little bit. After five minutes, we kept on swimming around, looking at all the different things growing on the pylons, on the rocks. Looking at the schools of fish, taking a few more photos. This was another giant cuttlefish, not as inquisitive. It's really nice to see how different personality they can have and how some will be really curious and come over and some will just swim away. During the second dive, we had a really, really cool sighting. I had no idea that this fish existed until I saw it. It's an ornate cowfish, a male, and they're just absolutely stunning. And he kept on looking at himself in the reflection of the dome of the camera and allowed for some really, really cool photos. And it was a really cool encounter. After two dives, we still hadn't seen a leafy yet, but we went in for a third dive, even though the lights were starting to get low. And we ended up finding one. They're just incredible wildlife. They're endemic to the water of South Australia and a bit of Western Australia. And they're just something else. They're one of the largest species of seahorse in the world. There was a lot of particulate in the water, but it gave it a sort of like spaceship look. I really like that. And then it started getting really dark so we got the flashlights out and made our way back. And say goodbye to Rapid Bay after three incredible dives. All right, and that's it for our three dives. I hope you enjoyed looking at the footage and the photos we got. The wildlife was absolutely incredible. This temperate ecosystem are just so rich and full of life. And if you can deal with the colder waters, then you're really in for a treat because it's quite incredible. I want to say a big thanks again to Chelsea for organizing everything, letting me use her camera. 
had an absolute ball. And thanks to Arlev Skuba for lending me the gear and the tanks and everything. I've had an incredible day and I can't wait to be back down that way and do some more diving. In the meantime, if you're still here, thanks for watching. And uh, here is a little before and after clip because I get a lot of questions about how to color grade the underwater footage, whether from like small cameras or GoPros and in all my previous dive videos, I've spoken a little bit about it. So yeah, if you're still, if you're still here, that's a little gift for you. See you next time.